Hello and welcome to this new tutorial on EMGU CV. Today I'm going to show you how can we use the color information to detect different objects. So let us get started. I have already configured a project to use EMGU CV 4.2. You can check one of my previous videos about this project configuration. And uh, let me add a new tab into my menu and call it object detection and let me say color based color based and let's say I'm interested in detecting uh, green color objects and I will also show you how can we detect the red color objects so I'm just double clicking on this uh, green and uh, inside the screen, I'm just going to write try catch. If I have any issues, then I can catch them here. So I have to check that. Let me use the snippet. If uh, picture box one dot image equals equals null, then I can return. I don't need these and otherwise i will continue working so the first thing that i need to do is to read the image from picture box into my image variable so i can do something like this i can create a new bitmap image and a picture box one dot image and also since i'm doing some processing of my emgu cv i can convert it into a bgr image of depth in bytes so before applying the color in detection maybe i can do for example underscore smoothing dot underscore smooth gaussian smoothing so it will be better if i do a smoothing using let's say a kernel of size 5 now i will be using a, a method that's called the in range method which requires the searching range uh, for example it is a an rgb image so i need to define the range for uh, in which range should i color or search for the red in the red channel green channel and a blue channel so now i will define those ranges let's say the lower range for bgr if it is a bgr then i need to assign three values so the blue should be like i will start from zero green should be zero and the the red that i want uh, to be minimum to be let's say at least 150 for example uh, no this is green right so bgr means for the second the second one is the minimum value from where i want to start searching is let's say well i want to search from 150 and uh, the red will be zero so that is the minimum so when it is a red a green color then the b should be a very low value and uh, g should be a very high value because it is green ideally it should be 255 but to give flexibility i said okay let me start from 150 and again bgr from higher values is equal to new and up to where i want to search and uh, to make sure that my values might be between uh, even for the blue it is uh, for the green maybe the blue can also be high so let's say search the blue between 0 and 100 and the green between 150 and 255 and the red is not really important but we can say let's say not a zero between 0 and 30 and now we can use this uh, mg dot in range method in range method and this is expecting the lower values and the higher values and essentially this will give us the mask actually so uh, so we can take it in mask is equal to and this if the values are within this range it will give us the the mask to be 255 otherwise those pixels will be zero 
but I just want those values which are within the range to be uh, non-zero so I just want to do something like dot not operation so uh, I, I just want to set the other values to zero to make sure that so wherever I have these values are correct it means that is a green value why I did it not I will show you right now and uh, this is what we want an output we want to show here and the output is equal to img.clone let's say whatever the image I have so now I want to set the values of this image now you will see set the values what values I want to set here is new BGR zero all of the values I want to set to zero zero except the values which are not the mask so it means <laughs> not the mask which means the mask values are the green values which I have found I want to keep those values that's why I said not so the other values will be set to zero and only the values that I want to show are the green values so that's why I use this mask to be not okay so once I have the values now I can show them in a picture box that image is equal to IMG dot is bitmap let us run this and check it for an image so let me select an image and see for example the simplest an image here I have just synthesized an image and let's see and it is not showing the green so let me do one thing increase this one a little bit and also increase the range of the green color so let us search in this range and a file open and now if I try to search for it so you can see that the green color has been selected and now if we want to find out for example the red color uh, within the image let's say I just double click on that and uh, if I want to find the red color the only thing that I need to change is the color range over here so for BG and R so BG should be like zero and let's say we want to search from 150 to 255 range so it will be 255 and it should not be like ideal situation where we can say zero zero so I just want to put both of them to be 50 50 to search for the red color and let us see the results file open and I want to open the same image and if I do it in a color based and now if I look for so you can see that the uh, red image has been selected and if I do the green and then green image has been green area has been selected now one thing for sure I want to tell you that this is basically a synthesized image that I have created the real time or real images will not be as clean as these are so uh, most of the time the color based segmentation or color based uh, for example the method that I have shown may fail for this one maybe we need to convert the color into another domain uh, color space like HSV or something else and then we can apply uh, the color detection but if you have a simple task like this in this in that case it will be successful but as I said the color based segmentations are really difficult to perform in the next video maybe we can try the in another color space how can we detect the face of a person uh, or we can detect the an object for example and I hope this video will help you to understand something more about EMG UCV and hope to see you in another video